Workers at a South Columbia marijuana dispensary voted to unionize today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Morgan Burrish. And I'm Lucas Geisler. We've been reporting for the last month about workers pushing for the union due to what they feel like were unfair firings and working conditions at Shangri-La South in Columbia. ABC 17's Avery Raylor was at the picket last month, joins us live from the polling location today in South Columbia. Avery, you just got those results 45 minutes ago. That's right. Six workers voted for a union and five voted against. Now there are still 16 votes that are up to be challenged, making that 27 votes total. Now those challenged votes are in the hands of the NLRB now, and they could change the results of this election. When I was at the picket last month, fired employees told me that they wanted to unionize and they were fired when the company heard. When I checked the NLRB's website, there were seven cases against Shangri-La from fired workers. Shangri-La representatives told me that those claims were baseless. They told me that if they wanted to unionize, they needed to vote in an election like this one. Sean Shannon, cannabis coordinator for the United Food and Commercial Worker Union, Local 655, said currently there are three unionized dispensaries in Missouri, and three, including Shangri-La, are in the process of voting. Shannon also told me that the main thing that workers are looking for is job security. Right now when you work in Missouri and you're not under a union contract, you're what's called an at-will worker, and that means the company can fire you for any reason or no reason at all. And it's happened to a lot of cannabis workers in Missouri where this is their dream job. They get to help people, but it gets taken away unfairly and they just don't want to see that happen anymore. I talked to Shangri-La representatives today and asked if they wanted to give a statement. They told me that they did not want to as of right now. Reporting live in Columbia, Avery Rayler, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Avery. Each side will now have five business days to file objections. If no objections are filed, Shangri-La will begin bargaining with the union.